I'm going to have everyone come up, get yourself a harness. We decided that um, it would be pretty valuable for the students at Milton Hershey to experience some climbing. Uh, we've been learning about Eric Weinmeyer. Let me help you get it tied in. And we invited Eric in because he's one of many who have persevered through a tough um, situation that happened to him when he was a child. And he had to figure out uh, whether he was going to be pushed aside, as he said in the book, to the corner of a room and not matter, or if he was going to um, decide to do some great thing. Looking at a man like him, like Eric, he climbed Mount Everest, and he's rock climbing here today with us, so. Nice. Whatever he did was good. It's like to see somebody like that do those feats, it's pretty amazing. We're almost there. When things knock you down, as they often do, as they always do, I think, really, um, how do you use that as fuel to keep powering forward? Woo! Let's get it. There we go. Just keep feeling. Yeah, keep feeling. because on some of them I couldn't get a good grip on them and I would have to go to a different one, maybe take a different path to get to the top. Maybe people make decisions that will change their life and people get have different paths to get to what they want to do in life. But did he just wake up one day and said, I want to climb Mount Everest? Or did he you know, look at himself and say, I, I want to do something great? It's not like the movies where there's like this one sort of like epiphany moment. It's a series of small choices. Those choices either stop you in your tracks and stall you out and set you up for a life of stagnation or they propel you forward along that map. So it's, it's not one moment, it's a series of choices every day. I look at myself at being at Milton Hershey School and I'm like, one day I want to do something great. But at the same time, I'm like, not everybody does. But no, I'm not everybody, so hopefully I do.